name is Munchard Berries. Yes, I'm finally back with a full serious review. And yes, I'm sitting back my sofa and my futon here. So I had to sort of switch the scenery for a change. I might bring back the countertop reviews after this review. But tonight I'm here and the beer for tonight is quite special and I've been meaning to try this for a while. I've had this bottle for over what, six months now, five months. It's a Belgian beer that came from Russia. I bought it there since it's not available in Canada, but it's a very kind of world famous beer. It's the Pavel Kvak. It's 8.4% ABV and it's a sort of special Belgian ale. You could classify this as a Belgian pale ale, but it's sort of a darker. You could classify this as a double even, but it's, it's sort of an amber kind of beer from what I've seen and heard. Um, traditionally, it's served in a speciality kind of glass. It's a sort of a very thin and tall hourglass shaped kind of glass and you need a special handle a wooden handle that would you know make the glass stand on its own because otherwise it'd fall down sort of a yard kind of glass so my uncle has been to belgium a couple of times i'm not sure if this was in brussels or somewhere else uh, he was at a bar and they served quack in a huge special glass so it's the same shape because the traditional you know the sanded glass is only 330 mils but he had a whole litre of the beer and it was a sort of a fun activity they had at the bar running for tourists mostly and so you know locals would be you know watching tourists drink beer from those glasses by the way it's brewed by the Bostels brewery which also does uh, triple camelite which is a very very good triple tonight I'm gonna use my chili glass, my little soup glass so without further ado let's crack it open so the cab has a nice quack logo in it I'm really glad there's no spillage or you know overflowing because sometimes with these Belgian beers uh, they're so yeasty and carbonated that it sort of gets over the top all right so that's good yeah it's even darker than I thought um, it's a very cloudy red kind of you know ruby color to it that's probably the best way to describe it and the head is nice and frothy um, sort of a light yellow color to it maybe caramel some carbonation. It's looking very nice, interesting. Mmm, very fruity and yeasty at the same time. It's sort of like a double smell, but slightly more fruity and less caramelly. I'm getting plums, uh, definitely red grapes, uh, maybe even strawberry. All the while it's got a nice, um, some slight butterscotch notes to it, and a slight breadiness, and a very kind of yeasty smell as well. Yeah, quite nice, I'm excited. Cheers. Oh, this is good. It's pretty much what I just described in the aroma, but very, very nice and, you know, robust in the flavor. It starts out fruity and very sweet, and the sweetness kind of lingers on. And then you get a bit of a, even a bit of a hoppiness, um, slight hoppiness with a bitterness. The sweetness stays, a bit of alcohol, just a hint in the taste. Just enough to let you know it's there, but it's it's not, you know, getting in the way. I'd say this is medium bodied and quite carbonated, but it's very nice, you know, small, fine bubbles you get. You definitely get the feel of a Belgian beer. It's got a nice confectionery uh, um, aftertaste. It's something like, you know, candied apples or something like that. You get a bit of apple, a bit of caramel. The caramel is much stronger in the taste than it is in the smell. This is quite unique. On one hand, it it's a Belgian ale, all right. There's no doubt about that. But on the other hand, it's it's quite different from the doubles and the pale ales and the strong, you know, Belgian strong ales. Yeah, I really like it. Really like it. Actually, the first time I saw it uh, was uh, I went out in Moscow meeting out with my old time friend. But he took me to a Belgian beer bar, the only one in Russia probably, and he had this beer, and I was sort of just starting to you know get my interest going for beer. And he showed this beer to me, I'm like, oh, this is interesting, but I didn't have a chance to try it. So now finally, after like five years, <laughs> four years, I get to try the Pavel Cock. Really good beer. I'll come back to you, but so far this is excellent. Really, really, really good. All right, then I'm back with uh, Pavel Cock. What can I say? Quite an interesting beer, very good. The strongest point about it is probably the taste. And I'm going to give this a 9 out of 10 for the taste. It does remind me of a Dubal beer especially after you're having this for a while but it's it's different from that and it's definitely not your average Belgian uh, strong pale ale which is what Beer Advocate classified this as I like the fruitiness, I definitely like the 
how the caramel and the, mal the maltiness, you know, the breadiness works with the fruitiness um, coming from the yeast strain. A bit of bitterness kind of backs it off. It's it's a nice robust flavor because it's it's very you know all the hints are very strong. All the notes, should I say? As for the appearance, I'll give this an eight out of ten. The head retention is not as impressive as uh, as it is in some other beers. But I definitely like the colour, it's very nice, very attractive. And uh, as far as the smell goes, it's nice, it's, uh, it's, it's quite strong as well. Maybe not as impressive as the flavour, so I'll give it um, an 8 out of 10. Now the mouthfeel and the drinkability is probably, there are weaker points about this beer. I'll first talk about the drinkability. After a while I began realizing that this is not as easy to swallow anymore it's got a bit of an acidity kind of touch to it and plus the sweetness is somewhat pushing the boundaries you know it just gets a bit too syrupy and um, it's not as drinkable as it was in the beginning plus it warmed up and everything so I can't give it more than a 7 for the drinkability um, and probably this I'll give it a 7 as well for the mouthfeel even though it's nice but it's just um, I do taste the alcohol. It's not boozy, boozy, but it's you know it's there, and um, it's a bit too sweet and a bit too syrupy. But all the while, it's still very tasty. It's a sip of beer, yeah, and that's pretty much it. I do feel the alcohol a little bit, sort of gave me a warming sensation. But for an eight and a half percent beer, almost this is this is not bad. This is good. Overall, I'll you know average this at an 8. 8 out of 10 for Quark. It's definitely a very interesting beer. Uh, it didn't disappoint me in the slightest. I highly recommend this to any um, be, you know Belgian beer lover or just someone who wants to experiment and try something new. It's quite different. Don't expect this to be you know mind-blowing because it might you know you don't want to disappoint yourself but it's definitely worth the shot and it's definitely uh, pretty much as good as it claims to be. So 8 out of 10 for Pavel Quark. Cheers guys, this was um, another DM's Punch Out Beer Review, I'm not sure when the next one will be, but I will continue with the brief reviews and everything, so I'll see you around, bye, cheers.